Hey guys, Coach Liz here. All right, our topic that I want to talk to you about today is the healthy habit of sleep. That's often a habit that we put aside because we're so busy. But as we go into that this new season of summer, it's such a great time just to self-evaluate how you're doing with your sleeping habits and um, maybe just set a routine and a schedule to get better sleep as we go into this new season so that you can make the most out of these summer months. All right. As usual, I want to tell you where to find the best information about sleep. Element 19 in your life book, Dr. Anderson talks about not just why sleep is important, but actually gives you some tips on how to improve your sleep and how that's going to help you in your health goals. Also, if sleep is something that you struggle with, I really encourage you to dive deeper into learning about sleep. So in page on page 398 to 421 in your habits of health book, Dr. Anderson dives even deeper into the habit of sleep, how we get better sleep, why that is important, how that's going to help you. And so there's a few things I just really want to touch on really quick that I learned from these elements and the chapters in this book. Um, so the first thing is I love how Dr. Anderson encourages you to have a twilight hour. That is your hour before sleep where you have a routine, just like a baby would have a routine before they go to sleep. It helps you calm down and gets your brain ready for sleep. So he breaks it down, um, an hour before a half an hour before and 15 minutes before you want to be sleeping, what you should be doing. And it has, has you set your own routine. So that twilight hour is really where you get that routine of turning down the lights, turning off your blue lights, uh, maybe talk, taking a hot shower or getting ready for bed, reading, like just really getting your body ready for a good night, restful sleep. So look at your twilight hour. What are you doing that hour before sleep? Also, he talks about your bookends. So your bookends are the things that you do first thing in the morning and then before you go to bed. That really makes a difference in the rest of your day. So if first thing in the morning you have that routine, maybe you're exercising, meditating, having some spiritual growth time, um, you know, you're eating a healthy breakfast um, and, and those are rocks in your schedule. It's going to set yourself up for a better day. Also at nighttime, your routine there. One thing I like to do is just do a brain dump. I write down everything I need to get done the next day so that I don't have to lay in bed and worry about that I'll forget to do it. It's all there. And so in the morning, I already know what I need to get done that day. So those are really helpful things to have my bookends in place. It just makes my day go so much smoother. Um, one thing that I really learned um, about sleep in Dr. A's Habits of Health book is he talks about the importance of sleep, especially in for women. Um, there's studies that show that losing 90 minutes of sleep reduces your daytime alertness by almost a third, just by going to bed an hour and a half late or not getting a good night um, sleep by an hour and a half like just losing that amount of sleep. Also, he talks about the studies done with women, how much sleep impacts your health. Um, he talks about how with women, especially, um, they are at greater risk for, um, things like depression, psychological stress, hostility, anger, as well as high levels of s substances that increase heart disease risk, include insulin, um, seek reactant pro reactive protein, um, also a large study of over 71,000 women nurses found that women who sleep only five hours or less a night are 45% more likely to have heart related problems than even those who sleep six hours a night have a 20% higher risk. So evaluate how much restful sleep you're getting. You could be not just putting yourself at risk during that day, not being as alert, but your long-term health may be at jeopardy if you're not getting that good quality of sleep. So here is my challenge for you. Evaluate your sleep. How many hours of restful sleep are you getting? Um, and what does your bedtime routine look like? Your bookends, what, what does your routine look like? First thing in the morning, that hour, um, when you wake up and the hour before you go to bed, if you can get things in alignment and get a great schedule down, I think that will really help you get a better quality of sleep and just feel better for the rest of the day. So, um, one other study I want to leave with you, um, as far as women go is studies found that women that are sleep deprived have up to a 40% slower metabolism than women that get a restful night's sleep. So I call it your skinny sleep, get your skinny sleep. It's going to help you not just lose um, that weight, get to a healthy weight, but feel better and have an easier time keeping that weight off and thriving in your life. If you're getting a good night's sleep. So don't underestimate the power of a good night's sleep. All right. Have a great day.